Hey everybody and welcome to another episode of Yarncast. I am very mishmash today because uh, it is cold and I don't really care. Um, like I said last week, um, was it last week? Oh, week before last, whatever. Um, I had put all of my wool items away. So, I just have the stuff that I leave out for the summertime to keep me warm in the air conditioning, so I'm not too worried about matching. Just staying warm. Um, anyway, I apologize. My dog is freaking out back there. And I, I also apologize if I am hard to understand today because um, one of my neighbors decided to cut their grass, which is bothering my allergies, and it's 54 degrees today. That is too cold to be cutting your grass. I mean, that's too cold for it to be right now anyway. It's but it's late May. Come on, Mother Nature. I mean, it was 80 degrees yesterday, and now it's 54 degrees. What's up with that? But anyway, so yeah, my allergies are <coughs> acting up, so I apologize if I'm hard to understand and if I am pausing to drink occasionally. Because... That's just going to happen. Um, so yeah, I did get some stuff done, um, which is why I didn't record on Thursday of last week. I usually record on Thursdays. Um, I also wanted to record yesterday, but I didn't get around to it because I wasn't feeling too good yesterday. Um, but I was thinking I really prefer to do to do the recording on Mondays because I always get a lot of stuff done on the weekends, like a lot of stuff like completed and then I get it ready to go out on Monday so I figure if I record on Mondays then I can show the stuff before I send it out <coughs> but I didn't get to record yesterday because like I said I wasn't feeling good and but I don't know maybe I will start recording on Mondays hopefully maybe um, but I do have a few things um, I couldn't wait until Thursday because there's just no way that this stuff is not going to get, like, um, divvied out and used or purchased before then, so I want to show it to you guys. And I'm moving my hand a lot. Just trying to keep warm. Just trying to keep warm. Uh, anyway. So, what did I get done? Well, I got two Amigurumi finished. Freddy and Golden Freddy. And I also made a pattern for both of these. So that's Freddy, and he's got a tag on his butt, and there's Golden Freddy, which is super duper cute. He's got a tag on his butt, and I need to get some big white with black in the middle eyes, or maybe just get some more eyes and like paint it blue, and then white, to make this a little bit cuter, because this is just super cute. But yep, you can buy the pattern, you can make your own. It's all linked. It's all on Etsy. Or if you don't crochet and you for some reason watch this show anyway. Uh, I guess I guess that actually makes sense. You might knit and watch this show. If you don't crochet, you can buy the finished items too on my other Etsy. So that's those things. And that's pretty much all I did last week. And then when those were done, I was pretty much like, I'm going to take a break now. Because I deserve it. Um, and I have already sold a Golden Freddy and two or three patterns. So that's pretty good. I just put it up Saturday night slash Sunday morning. Like at midnight, 1 a.m. on Saturday. Sunday. You know what I mean. Um, so... <coughs> So that's pretty good that I've already sold some stuff. But, uh, I worked on one other thing. Um, I decided that some yarn I had some plans for. I put the yarn over there. Let me get it. Okay. The Red Heart Super Saver Glow Worm and Dark Orchid. Orchid. Don't know how to say that word, actually. But, uh, yeah. I was going to do a chevron afghan. A 
got like three skeins of skein skeins of each of those. Maybe four. I was gonna do a chevron afghan, but then I thought I don't want to do that many chevrons. So no. I'm going to do the 2015 block a month and then along with those. So even though I have not finished the 2014, I started on the 2015. I apologize if you can hear my dog scratching. So that is the January main square. And it's very pretty. And I love these colors together. But I I like how this pattern looks, but I did not like how it was written because it was very confusing and it was not just me because um I had to go to the thread and there were people asking the same questions that I had. So I knew it wasn't just me. But uh I figured it out and it turned out rather nice. And it's the right size. I used the rec the recommended hook and it turned out the right size. So I guess my crochet did I just say crochet wrong? My crochet gauge has gotten normalized now. Whereas before it was like I always had to go down two hook sizes. Let me deal with my dog. Hold on a sec, guys. So like I was saying, um, I usually have to go down like two hook sizes, or I should say I used to have to go down like two hook sizes, but I guess my gauge has started to normalize now. So that's good. Um, and I, I very much apologize for my dog. She's barking at the crazy person that is cutting their grass when it's way too cold. Um, so yeah, that's the only other finished object. And I didn't move those over to this side. Why did I not move those? There we go. Okay. So that's all the finished objects that I have since the last time I saw you. Um, I did have a bit of stash enhancement. Um, since I last saw you, Mother's Day happened, and I figured, you know, I'm going to go just go to the craft store and just get something. You know, I don't really care that I am not supposed to be buying yarn. Um, the yarn that I got doesn't really count towards stash because it is planned for something that I'm going to sell, so. <clears throat> so it doesn't count, right? Um, this is Hobby Lobby. I love this yarn in Desert Glaze. I mean, obviously I didn't go on Mother's Day and get this because it's from Hobby Lobby, which is closed on Sundays, but uh, I went on Saturday before Mother's Day and got that. Because I decided I was just going to relax that whole weekend. But uh, yeah, I figured this would be the perfect color for Scootaloo, the pony, and no one else really had as perfect of a color, so I was like, okay, fine, I'll go get it from Hobby Lobby. I try not to shop at Hobby Lobby, but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do, because nobody else really had an orange acrylic that was quite the same. There's one that's almost the same, but not quite, and it wasn't quite right for Scootaloo, so, um, this is going to be Scootaloo, and this is going to be a Scootaloo chicken, so watch out for those. Um, another stash enhancement that I purchased, I, like, pre-ordered, like, um, a month ago, maybe more, longer than a month ago, no, it was a month and a half now, I think, and it finally got dyed up and arrived. And here it is. It is 25 gram mini scenes from Bohemian Fibers. I got this from, sorry for the crinkling. I got this from uh, the Mini Mall Group Crayon Colors Swap Part 5. It says that on here, I think. Crayon Box Swap Part 5, yeah. So, there's 20 5 gram skeins in there of different colors. So, I'm going to be making some more hexapuffs. I kind of wish I hadn't told Chance that these are going to be hexapuffs because 
I want to use these for like an African flower hippo or happy potamus or whatever it's called. Um, but I got plenty of other stuff that I can use for that. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Um, some of these look very similar even though I know they're not the same. Some of them look similar. So I'm thinking maybe the ones that look similar, maybe I'll take one for the hex puffs and one for an African flower animal. I don't know. We'll see what happens. So yeah, and I didn't put it over on the other side again. But that's all my stash enhancements. Um. Oh wait. There are some more finished objects, but it's not really yarn finished objects. However, it is related because I painted some safety eyes. I wanted some sparkly eyes. Camera, do you want to focus on that, please? I guess it doesn't. There's pictures up on my Etsy that you can see a lot better. Um, I wanted some sparkly eyes, so I painted some sparkly eyes, and I put some of them up for sale. These are 30 millimeter sparkly blue. I also have up in my shop some sparkly pink. And I'll show you that, even though you can't really see it on here. So sparkly pink, 30 millimeters. And then I did some glow in the dark ones. So I have some orange glow in the dark eyes. Um, they look like green in the dark. Kind of like that generic glow in the dark green color, but in the light they look orange. And they do glow very nicely, and that is awesome. So, yep. Those are the eyes I did. Um, and I do, I have one more, one more thing to show. It's not really yarn, but I figured, I figured, it's kind of yarn. Um, the floss is listed on Ravelry, so, I mean, it's kind of related, right? Um, a cross stitch project, project, that I'm working on. First, I'll show you guys the pattern I'm working on. It is a poop, and there's going to be some words over it that say, Don't poop in Dean's space, because there's this game that I play with my husband and some friends, and in the game you can poop, and um, I kind of troll my husband by pooping in his face, because he doesn't want anybody pooping in his face, so that's going to be for him. That's what I've got done so far. So that's that. The words are going to be up there somewhere. So there we go. That's all that I have done since I saw you last. So, I apologize, but I couldn't put it off any longer because I promised the kids that they could have those Freddy and Golden Freddy, and they're not going to want to wait anymore. So, I wanted to show you guys those before they took them to play with them and stuff. So I apologize that my dog is barking and the guy's cutting the grass and all this crap is going on. And also that it's a little bit discombobulated because I'm trying to focus even though the dog is freaking out, you know. I'm sorry. <laughs> I will see you next week. Check out my Yarny Etsy where I have those safety eyes, the pattern for the Freddy and the Golden Freddy, as well as some hand dyed yarn. And that is over at yarncast.etsy.com. Um, if you don't make that stuff, but you want one, you can check out my finished object Etsy, which is at craftotaku.etsy.com, and I will have it all linked for you, make things easy for you. So thank you for watching, even though it was horrible. <laughs> and I'll see you guys next week. Bye, guys.